Once you start doing this, you'll be able to burn fat, lose weight, and keep it off for life. If you guys want to fire up your triceps, try this workout out. A lot of people are doing this workout the wrong way, so I want to put you guys in the right spot. Let me do it one more time. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My name is Jason, and I have type 1 diabetes. I guess, you know, being a diabetic, again, I think it's just one of those things where uh, a lot of people don't understand that this is like a 24-7, seven day a week uh, thing that you don't take a vacation from. So it's like, if you feel like you don't want to take care of your diabetes one day, your blood sugar goes high, you probably end up in the hospital, right? Where everyone else can go on vacation, they can do things, you carry diabetes with you everywhere, even if you're on a vacation. But you know, once you come to that acceptance and the realization that again, we can use this to, um, learn more about ourselves, become more self-aware and things like that, then it's all good, you know? So we turn the struggles into things that, you know, we can thrive from. Once we recognize it is what it is, we take the steps that we can to have the most fulfilling, empowering life that we can, period. Growing up as a type one diabetic, sometimes there's a lot of things that are said that can make diabetics feel like there's a lot of limitations to the lifestyle that they can live. And my goal here is just to bring as much value as I can and as much truth back to the diabetic community as I can to empower and uplift diabetics to realize that they can thrive through diabetes and not just survive. Here's why your blood sugar is going low. Cortisol is likely being spiked while you're training. Believe how much insulin I take for this protein shake. For me, working out, it's an expression of human creativity and, and energy. Class, classic example is the more somebody is stagnant and not moving, the more they're at risk for certain types of diseases. And so for me, being able to be active and being able to, to be a part of fitness and making it a lifestyle is one of those things that has allowed me to really just thrive in a sense, especially when it comes to managing diabetes, because it's really helped my body function a lot better as well, in, in my own opinion. So if you ever have someone that's a diabetic and maybe they're having an off day or what the situation is, just have some empathy for the fact that their blood sugars might've been high, they might've been low, you really don't know and so you know take that into account for me when it comes to skating skating just it's almost like a form of meditation for myself it allows me to kind of calm down I'm really high strung sometimes I'm always doing something so skating allows me to kind of calm things down again it takes me back to when I was playing hockey as a kid It's just something for me to do that, that takes me out of the element that I'm in right now. Um, and just my own form of meditation, really. I was filming a video for diabetics in the gym, and the most insane thing just happened. Some of my TikToks started going viral. I'll be honest, I, my goal is to reach diabetics. It's to empower diabetics to understand that they can achieve a lifestyle of abundance. They don't have to feel constrained and trapped with diabetes, which it can make them feel that way. The biggest thing for me about the social media thing again is, is just empower one person. If I can empower one person, and that person a lot of times is my younger self, my younger self who didn't have anybody to look to, who didn't know anybody in their, their friend's circle who was a, was a diabetic, who didn't know anybody in their school who was a diabetic, who didn't know but anybody on their sports teams who was a diabetic and felt like they were going through this alone, they were dealing with the highs and lows alone, they were dealing with the psychological ramifications alone. I wanted to be put in a situation where I told people, hey, I've been through all of this so far in my life. And at the end of the day, if I can go through this and I can do this, you can too. Don't let it stop you and know there's a bigger community out there of us that are going through it. Um, and again, we can thrive through it, not just go through a, a, a position of surviving. You wanna give me my shot? <laughs> nah, you're playing with it. Am I being pranked right now? What the hell is going on? My main thing is bringing people value when it comes to TikTok ideas. Then from there, it's just about how do I make things engaging? Because people tend to watch things that are more engaging. So you add that in the mix, value, plus a little bit of engagement, some entertainment, people enjoy the videos, which is a blessing, and then you just take it from there.
my main goal five to 10 years from now is to know that I've empowered billions of people and I've brought value to billions of people around the world. And just to allow, to be able to motivate them, to be able to inspire them, to be able to empower them to get the most out of their life and, and to fulfill their purpose.